beloved leader of groups, welcome to this weekly Food for Leaders three minute training video to encourage you, to train you, to equip you, to give you the best we can so that you enjoy your ministry and bless many other people. Today we talk about four components in the network, four components in the prayer network. And basically, they are very easy for most of you as a review, but we have new leaders here that never heard of this. So here we go. Number one, the daily prayer. Communion it is not about praying two or three times a week, but rather it's a commitment that we make to keep the group going and the prayer meetings going, the 170 prayer meetings a day or more going every single day until Jesus comes. We are in a, in a journey to work together until the Lord returns. Then the second component is the community Bible reading. In a, we could read it separately, many of you do that maybe, but it is so much better when we are accountable to each other and we have the same Bible intake every single day. And then the third component is winning souls for Jesus. Many people think that if you just come and pray, that is the goal. Prayer is never the final goal. It's the most important ministry there is, I believe, but it's foundational. Upon prayer or over prayer, we must build obedience and we must build that desire to embrace the nation. So winning souls for Christ. And you know, it's not going to be that hard because I believe the Lord has given us some keys like come and see strategy. Very simple. You can win people for Christ in five minutes a day. And then fellowship. A communionet is a, re is a network of communion, of fellowship, of training together, working together, being accountable to each other. So I'm going to encourage you, leader, that you become knowledgeable of the basic material. We try to keep it so kindergarten basic so that every leader can work together. We can all do this together until we embrace the nations. We are already in several nations, but we want to embrace the continent for Jesus Christ. So keep strong, keep doing what you are doing as a leader and allow the Lord to help you improve in your ministry and in your leadership. We are in this together. God bless you, my friend.